Hi, good morning, students. In the previous chap, in the previous class, we have all discussed about food. Where does it come from? The sources of food. There is different ingredients where we are getting from. That is from plants and animals. Anyhow, today we are going to discuss the new lesson. That is components of food. Okay. Today, before discussing. Have you ever? Uh, I am going to, going to discuss the topic. You know, before discussing, I would like to know: Have you ever wondered why do we change our food items in a day? For example, in the breakfast, you might have taken idli sambar, or in the uh, chapati curry, or maybe puri or upma. Whereas in the lunch, again you might be taking rice, pulses, rice dal, or any vegetable curry, maybe vendi curry, means lettuce finger curry. Or vinegar curry, and uh, similarly at night time dinner you might be again changing the menu, and you might be taking rice or uh, appam or fish curry or maybe some other items. So in the different times of a day or in a week, you if you are taking different kinds of food items. Now a question comes to our mind. Why do we change our food items in a day? What is the reason behind it? Is it only for taste? No, not only for taste. Okay, of course, we may, we may change because same kind of food item we may not be liking always. Uh, so for that there is a change. Okay, that is correct only. But not only for taste, there is one more reason behind it. Let us try to find out here. So the one more reason behind it is. We require different kinds of nutrients in our food. We get it from different kinds of ingredients. So, what is a nutrient? Nutrients are the chemical, the chemical substances needed by our body for proper growth and functioning. Okay, so. Different kinds of nutrients are needed for proper functioning of our body or or proper growth. Okay, now what are the different types of nutrient? Nutrients means what? Anything which nourishes or takes care of our body. So we are getting the different types of there are different types of nutrients and those are first of all carbohydrates, then proteins. Fats, vitamins, and minerals. Along with these nutrients, <coughs> along with these nutrients, we require roughs and water. So we will discuss about them one by one. First, so first of all, let us discuss about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mainly consists of the chemicals called carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are mainly known as energy-giving food because these are when the carbo we the, the ingredients which contain carbohydrates we, when they get into our stomach it gets oxidized during respiration process. Oxidized means oxygen is added to the food and it burns. So it breaks the food and gives us energy. So okay. What are the different types of carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are of two types. First, starch. Second, sugar. Actually, these are the common carbohydrates which are found in food. And uh, what is starch? In starch, is present in our the food items. For example, rice and potato. This is a potato. So, a freshly cut piece of potato we can take, and in the small piece of potato we can take a test tube and in that test tube we can take a test tube in. we can verify the presence of starch in potato or any food item by taking iodine solution and we will take a small test tube i will put a small piece of freshly cut potato in and i will put it in the test tube i will put it in the test tube so upon putting it in the test tube I will pour few drops of iodine solution. Do you know how iodine solution is prepared? We have we will take tincture iodine and pour in half a, half of 
the dust tube we will fill with water and in that we will put few drops of tincture iodine solution so that will tincture iodine so it will become a dilute solution now i am pouring the dilute iodine solution in the test tube we are already inside one potato piece is there so i am pouring here like this let us verify what is going to happen you see the color of the potato piece is gradually changing into blue black color the color of the potato piece is gradually changing into blue black color which indicates that which indicates that it comes it contains starch similarly here you see i have already cooked rice here if you, you can take raw rice also but raw, any raw items you have to grind it because it is in the solid form grind it or crush it then add little water into it then you pour in the test tube or you can take for example i will pour pour out it inside just one minute again few uh, rice few cooked rice pieces i am just taking inside the test tube and i want to check whether rice contains starch or not i will put few drops of iodine solution in it I, when I put the iodine solution in it, you see the color of the rice has changed into blue black color. It clearly indicates that rice contains starch. So, this is a confirmatory test for the presence of starch in food items. We get mainly starch from the food items, which are we have mainly plants are the main sources of carbohydrates now along with the starch one more form of carbohydrate is sugar the sugar is of four different types that is further divided into four different types glucose fructose sucrose lactose glucose we find in honey and dry fruits similarly fructose we find in fruits Sucrose we get from sugar, table sugar, what we call it as table sugar we are using in our kitchen. Similarly, lactose is found out in milk and milk products. So, these are the different forms of sugar. These are the different forms of sugar. Now, so these, these, these are the nutrients present. It means the, in carbohydrates, these are the main two different forms which are present, starch and sugar. So it is also known as energy giving food. Thank you. Mm. Glucose is present in dry fruits, honey, fructose is present in fruits, this is kiwi fruit here and at the same time honey also contains fructose and milk consists of lactose. Milk consists of lactose and sugar consists of sucrose so okay now we will discuss about another type of nutrient that is protein it consists of nitrogen carbon hydrogen and oxygen proteins are also known as bodybuilding food because they they are used in proper growth repair and maintenance of the body Actually, proteins are present in both plants as well as animal products. For example, there are two types of proteins, plant proteins and animal proteins. We get plant proteins from beans, nuts and peas. Pea means pea nuts, ground nuts, all these things we are getting the proteins. Similarly, animal proteins, animal proteins we are getting from milk, egg, fish and all the meat products. So, proteins are used in making hemoglobin. We require copper sulfate solution and sodium hydroxide solution. We can prepare copper sulfate solution by taking 2 grams of copper sulfate. This is in blue color. Here it is copper sulfate here. So, we can take 2 grams of copper sulfate 
in a small test tube. You can see here, we have taken 2 grams of copper sulfate acid uh, roughly. So, and uh, in this, we will add 100 ml of water. You see, the solution is changed into blue color. And in this, we will add pulses, already rescooked pulse. So, pulse, few pieces of pulses I will put in this solution because we will check whether in this particular pulses proteins are present or not. Now, here already sodium hydroxide solution is there. So, you will put 10 drops of sodium hydroxide solution in this food item and let us verify whether it has proteins or not. The moment we added copper sulfate, you see the test tube color has changed into violet color. The test tube color has changed into violet clear color. It clearly indicates the presence of protein. All of you see here once. So, the color of the test tube has changed into violet color. So, if a particular food, food item, if it changes into violet color, it we it clarifies that, it proves that protein is present in that particular food item. So, proteins are <coughs> present in pulses also.